So this is your last call. We're going to be looking at 801, Banshee, Eververse, and Zer. Not in that order, but kind of in that order. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, Gold Leaf. Let's look at Gold Leaf. So this is a pretty cool shader. I... Mm, it doesn't look good with cloth, I'm going to be real with you guys. But with plate armor, it looks really cool. We have New Pacific Rush, which is the shader from Titan Planetary, Planetary Shader. I, again, doesn't look good with cloth. Also ignore the cloak. The cloak taste shaders really terribly, but yeah, it looks really good with plate. And then new Monica Regalia, which I think looks just good with everything. Like it looks so beautiful. Definitely the best shader right now. So definitely pick this one up. As for the armor sets, it's gonna be these right here. I'm not gonna look at all of them. I'm just gonna look at this one, this one, and then this one for all the classes, just because uh, it's easier that way. So we're gonna go to world. It's gonna be the no, it's gonna be the second to last page. So I'm not the biggest fan of this helmet. I think this helmet is absolute trash buckets, and I've never seen anyone make this look good. So if you think you've made it look good, let me know in the comments below. We have Scorn Baron Vest. This one I'm gonna recommend everyone to get up to, to pick up just because I know hunters we don't have, if I remember correctly, we don't have a scorned ornament for any of exotic if i remember correctly but the titans you have two which are really cool and warlocks you don't even need one because that one oh my god that chest piece is amazing which you guys will see in a bit and then we have the memory of Cade cloak which i'm not the biggest fan of this one because it is a reskin from the io planetary armor yes and i'm just not the biggest fan of the shape of the cloak um this doesn't really bother bother me but i don't know just not the biggest fan of it for the titans it's gonna be all the way yeah so we have the black panther helmet is what me and my friends used to call it uh yeah definitely cool you can definitely combine this with some pretty cool sets i definitely would recommend this one with the t-rex set from halloween specifically the boots i think that would look really fucking crazy but yeah you can definitely do some cool stuff with that did not mean to do that hold on let me see real quick world uh, Scorn Baron Plate, this one is super dope, especially when you combine it with the ornaments that the exotics have, which I'll show you guys after we look at this. I definitely think this one's worth getting. Actually, I'll just show you to you right now. That time I did mean to do that. Uh, exotic. So Titans, you're gonna be wanting to get the Titan Ramparts, specifically, let me see real quick. The Scorn Fortress, this is gonna be super cool for that one. And I still think Titan Ramparts are really good. Um, they did get nerfed, but I still think they're really good. And then the other one is gonna be the Cannon Brace. This one I think is really cool as well because it does have like active electricity on it, which looks really cool. And yeah, I think, I don't know. I like the other one because it's gonna make it look more bulky, but this one is cool because just the electricity, the like the scorn, like symbolism and all that, I think it's really cool. So Titans, I definitely think you should pick it up just because again, it's gonna be look really cool on you guys. And then for the mark, it's funnily, funnily enough, this is one of my favorite marks for Titans just because if you wanna go for something simplistic, you're definitely gonna wanna pick this up because this is the one I use when I'm doing like my, like my casual sets. Warlocks, uh, let me see. So yeah, helmet is pretty trash. I mean, I'm not gonna, I wanna try to make it look good but i just think it looks goofy it looks like you have a like a ball and gag in in the front right there or it kind of looks like a monkey's like uh like mouth hmm, interesting Ooh, why did you do that no oh scorned robe or scorned baron robes is easily one of the best uh chess pieces for the warlocks it is so cool i've made some dope sets with this some like cultist looking sets as well and yeah i definitely think this is like one of my favorite chess pieces for the warlocks and then for the bond, I mean, bonds usually are pretty trash. This one is no exception in my opinion. It's pretty terrible. So that's pretty much it for Ada. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I definitely think she has some stuff that are worth picking up. Specifically, New Monarchy Regalia. Definitely pick this up. I think Gold Leaf is worth a pick up as well. And then New Pacifica Rush. Only because it's super old. This is from Destiny 2 Vanilla. From a planet that's not even in the game anymore. So I definitely would recommend that. As for Banshee, we have the... Lunilata 4B with no distractions and headstone. This could be a pretty good PvP role, is what I want to say. I'm just not the biggest fan of no distractions. Uh, it could be pretty good. Ooh, draw time. That's pretty nice. Accuracy. 
We have Arvindale 4 FR6 with firmly planted and one for all. I'm going to ignore that. Annual Skate with Tunnel Vision and Opening Shot. I would actually be interested in this one just because the opening shot with Tunnel Vision reloading after defeating target greatly increases target acquisition plus opening shot plus accurized 60. Uh, I don't know. I'm just not the biggest fan of Annual Skate, specifically that model. That model for me, I just I can't really get into it. Uh, syn Syncopation 53 with Compulsive Reloader and Frenzy. This could be a pretty good PvE roll. And then Bump in the Night with Demo and Frenzy. So these two are actually red border weapons. So if you are interested, definitely pick those up. Uh, I don't even know what the focusing is. Ooh, it's a uh, Vice and Omalon. I really wish they gave just all of the weapons out instead of just two. I think it's two a day or two a week. I don't remember. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from that. As for Zer, he's in the hangar at the tower. He's currently selling. Dude, he's selling this armor. Oh my god, what's it, what's it called? It's the armor from Warmind, specifically the Escalation Protocol armor. That's pretty crazy. And I definitely would recommend you guys to pick this up just because it is really rare. That being said, this armor is historically terrible, like for fashion, unless you lean into a lot of the things that I'm about to, to start talking shit about. So I'm quickly going to go to collections because I don't see it in front of me, obviously. But it should be underworld. Yeah, it's underworld. Okay. World and world. Okay. So, um, yeah. So let's go with hunters. Hunters, that helmet, there's a lot of things that doesn't change color. The visor, the green visor does not change color. The yellow wires don't change color. Any yellow wiring just automatically assumed does not change color. Um, same thing for the arms. They are also asymmetrical. The chest piece, I think, is probably the coolest piece from the whole thing, if I'm going to be honest. The boots i not the biggest fan of it and then the cloak i think is the worst piece just because unfortunately it has like a really big hood at the top which makes sense when you combine it with the helmet but if you combine it with literally almost anything else it looks pretty terrible titans i think the helmet is really cool i think the arms are really cool i think the chest piece boots are kind of boring looking and then the mark is definitely boring that being said this one also does have the problems of yellow wiring does not change color if i remember correctly the like small visor not visor but the light in the middle of the helmet does not change color if i remember correctly and yeah that's it for the titans warlocks i think everything's pretty terrible i think the chest piece you can probably like make a case for but the helmet i think looks weird i think the arms too bulky with other pieces boots too boring bond same thing too boring and then again like i said the chest piece is like the only piece where i'm like it looks pretty interesting as for these stats i'll have them up right now so that way you guys can see if you guys are interested but i'm gonna be real with you guys i would even though i talked mad shit about this armor i would still pick it up just because a legendary shards are going away so if you have legendary shards you might as well just start buying all of the Zer's products because this is going to be pretty cool to just have in their back pocket because you never know when you're going to want to do a specific armor set, including this armor specifically for Titans. I ended up making a really cool like a uh, uh, war mind look, which included the arms. So definitely pick these up if you can afford it. If not, don't feel too bad about missing out because you might never know fucking they might sell it somewhere else or just let you let they probably will give it to us as a drop in a future like Seraph season if we ever get one but i would just tell you if you want to just be safe just get it all right now as for the weapons we have escape velocity with threat detector and elemental capacitor it's not terrible um this would most likely be us be a pvp weapon just because i know people use threat detector as kind of like uh not a radar but more of a like in case like there's enemies around you you can actually see how many enemies are around you and then i know elemental capacitor is like a fan favorite me personally i don't really care for it because i change my subclass a lot uh, that being said i could definitely see myself using this one specifically royal chase with full auto trigger system and threat detector so basically just one mod on this because we already have full auto on just intrinsically now Chroma Rush with Moving Target and Adrenaline Junkie. I would say get it because Chroma Rush to me is like one of my favorite auto rifles, but not Moving Target and Adrenaline Junkie. Uh, Stochastic Variable, Ambitious Assassin and Quick Draw, which is whatever. Without Remorse with Well Rounded and Incandescent. I actually would say pick this one up because it is a red border weapon. And I also just like Incandescent on this one. 
We have Huskow, Threat Detector and Kill Clip, which is funny. And then Threaded Needle with Rangefinder and Frenzy. So that is pretty much it for the weapons. For the red border weapons, like I said, it's going to be this one. This is the only one that is a red border weapon. As for Hawkmoon, we have Hipfire Grip, which... Like, why even would I? And then for the other exotics, we're going to be looking at Merciless. Ooh... Uh, if you have the if you have the uh, catalyst for it, it's actually pretty cracked. I really really like. Well, I shouldn't say cracked, but like it's really good. <laughs> and then for hunters, Orpheus rigs, Mark Forty Four stand aside, and then Wings of Sacred Dawn, which I'm gonna be real with you, I'm not a fan of pretty much any of these roles. They're pretty much terrible. But if you don't have the exotic, you guys definitely should pick them up because you might never know when you might need them. Uh, worm husk crown is it this one it's not that one okay well i'm not gonna go look at it because uh fuck that all right we'll probably look at it um, after we're done with eververse because that's what we're gonna be doing right now let me see so eververse 44 steel i still would recommend this shader because if you guys don't know i already reviewed eververse and the challenges and ada I do that in the beginning of the week, so usually Tuesday I make the video, and then Wednesday I usually release it because uh, Tuesday I'm usually busy with making videos. Uh, Chrome stock, meh. I'm not the, like I like the blue on top. I don't like the blue at the bottom. And then swirling leaf entrance. We have exospore. That word right there. Wow, wow. Uh, drum roll. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have Whaler's Whim. I love this ornament because it doesn't give me purple. Because the basic uh, Wish Ender, I like the like the the default look. It's pretty cool, but this one just gives it a more like like normal look, I guess you would say. Because like the base look looks way too extra. The other ornament that it has way too colorful and this one's just kind of like really cool i don't know i liked it i like it a lot it's my base look for right now uh assembly writer i'm not even gonna look at this one because fuck it well, let's look at it because i know i'm gonna get some comment dude say telling me you don't look at everything uh yeah i see this one all the time now either the ship this ghost or the sparrow we have wave rider which this one does look really cool and actually does change colors from the round thing right here but it changes it in a really weird way. Like, for example, let me see real quick. Is it this one? No, it's not that one. Uh, this one. So this shader, Grand Luster, has a purple glow to it, which is probably on this actually, but not on this, which is really weird. Let me see real quick. Okay, so no, it's not on that, which is wild. We have photovoltaic shell, which I don't really care for. Warrior Stance, which is the Goku one, which looks amazing. Unfortunately, it's not like an infinite emo or a forever emo. You, like, you get off of it after a while, which is straight up cheeks. Red Light, Green Light, which you activate the red light by stopping the emo, which is really cool. For the Transmit Effects, Cannon Fodder, which... Yep. We have Box of Tricks. This word right here, I can't even say that. And for the other shaders, Transcend Transcendental Ambition, which <sighs> not the biggest fan of, to be honest with you. Boreal Char, which is a really good green when you combine it with other greens. Carbon Blood, which is a really good black, red, and white. Definitely pick this one up. I know some Edgelords are going to be like interested in this one. And then first light, which is really whatever's. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I have been uh, kind of busy. I'm I'm going to make a like a video for the month of like what I'm doing so far. Probably a weekly one or a monthly one. I've not decided yet. But yeah, I've been busy with this channel making content for it. We still have a lot of armor to go through. We have the seasonal ornament. Uh, which we still haven't done. We have the seasonal activity armor, which again, we still haven't done. We have the, damn, why do I have, why do I have so much stuff here? Uh, we have, what else do we have? We have, oh, we have this, totally forgot. And I should probably should mention this for those who are interested. 
we have the season of the undying stuff back so i will definitely be doing an armor set for this because a person told me to do it and it's honestly a great idea because i didn't do a review for it which is fair considering la when this first came out i was not doing content around fashion so i will be making a review for this a shader video i'm not gonna do a class specific video because this armor is so thematic that making it it's literally just gonna be me making vex themed pieces for all the classes so i'm just i decided that i'm gonna make just one fat video going through each of the classes sets and then going through like all of the vex uh pieces that we do have and it's not a lot it's literally like one or two actually i can show you right now if you're interested but if you're not thank you for coming up to this point i really do appreciate it for those who are interested it literally is just like one armor set um from eververse i think yeah it's one em armor from Eververse. if i can find it yeah so it's gonna be the o omega mechano stuff for the titans and warlocks and hunters uh more for the titans and warlocks less for the hunters because this does not speak vex to me because that maybe the arms maybe the helmet but we have a way better helmet for that maybe the cloak i think the cloak would be very vex themed but the other set is going to be the uh vault of glass armor set which if you guys don't know it's from a raid it's literally vex themed and unfortunately for the hunters it's just going to be the helmet that's going to be really vex themed but then we get to like the warlocks and i think the helmet is really cool the chest piece is really cool even the boots to a certain extent the arms as well everything everything is so vex themed that it's really really good and then for the titans i think the helmet is good chest piece is good and the mark is good boots um i think are a little too on the nose with another set from year one from destiny one and then kabir's brazen grips i think are pretty good as well so you could also combine it with other sets you can do this one as well from garden of salvation which i think is uh probably one of the worst uh raids for for armor just because this is a reskin from that first armor that i showed you from eververse you could do legacy stuff as well it's gonna kind of look cool because this is, this is like cybernetic stuff but i feel like vex has a certain style and look to it that legacy stuff is not going to look that great but again you're going to mix and match and you can find some cool things with it moon fang as as well you can probably get like the, this one right here the boots i think the boots is going to be really good for it again i'm going to go through this in a separate video but for those who are just like just tell me now uh moon fang grips are going to be really good for the hunters and then warlocks i don't think any of it was good for you guys. i think the helmet's decent i think the arms are going to be decent other than that it's not going to be good for that so i We'll also showcase like some Vex themed uh, sets that I've made for the classes. Just one because uh, you only really need to see one to see like just how powerful this armor set can be. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Be safe. I will see you guys later.